there, it's me, Toy. I don't usually do a slideshow video, but I'm having some technical difficulties right now. If you hear snoring in the background, that's Margie. If you want to know what kind of drama is going on in her life, check the link below to check out my blog post. So here is my year in books and more for 2022. So I read 42 books for the year, which isn't bad considering it was quite a traumatic year. I did not meet my Goodreads goal of 60 books, but I'm surprised I read as much as I did. My average rating was 4.3. I think I'm really generous with my ratings. I don't know if I should be harsher, but uh, I think I feel good about this. The average length of the books I read was 149 pages, and that's literally because I read a lot of short stories this year, which I didn't realize it at the time, but I think it was in preparation of me writing my own short stories. So the first book of the year that I reviewed was, um, and what is this one? Oh yeah. And then you fall. I forgot about this. Yeah. This was a romance series that I actually really enjoyed. The first book of the year was a five-star review. So things started off wonderfully. The last um, new review of the year, because I did actually um, reread a book. So that review was from another year. The last new book that I reviewed this year was Druid Moon. And it was a 3.75 star rating. I haven't actually written the review for this one yet. I'll get around to it. It was actually a pretty good book. I can't actually wait to write the review to explain why I gave the rating. So the most shelved and highest rated book that I read this year was the um, Business of Short Stories. It's actually um, got a five star rating, but my favorite read of the year, which was also a very short read, was These Alien Skies. It was part of a short story um, Amazon kind of collaboration type deal, and it was just a really phenomenal sci-fi story that just happened to have these amazing black characters. It was my favorite read of the year. So let's talk about what I wrote. Um, again, despite all of the craziness that went on throughout the year, I managed to write 21,461 words. Um, that is actually, I think, the length of a novelette. I think that's what they call that. So that's not too shabby considering how much I struggled to write throughout the year. So that 21,000 words basically was six new original stories and then contributions to three ongoing stories. So not too shabby. If I can do that in 2023 or more, I'll be very satisfied. So I also attended four live events this year. There were three public events and one private event. It was my first time doing a private event. It was um, a group of educators and I really enjoyed it. So I'm hoping to get to do some stuff like that again. I tell people all the time, you know, online sales are really good for some people, but not necessarily for me. I like having that online presence, but these local events are what really keep me going. This is where I really connect with the people who are reading my work. I expanded some things on my YouTube channel this year. I launched my Read Local and my Read All Over show, and I'm hoping to continue that in um, 2023. Just got to work out some technical bugs, but I did interview five local authors and four global authors. So I really hope to continue that in 2023. Hmm, let's look at this. <laughs> All right, so not the greatest quality, but you can, of course, check that video out on my YouTube channel. It wasn't that big of a deal on YouTube, but it caused all kinds of shenanigans over on Instagram. I will include the link below so you can check out all the ridiculousness that arose from that one short video. And then finally, I ended out the year with the vid. It finally got me on Christmas Day. 
It was probably one of the saddest, most depressing holidays I've had in a really long time. I haven't had Christmas with my local family since 2019, and I guess I'm going to have to wait even longer. With that said, um, I survived. I'm here, and uh, let's keep it moving. I have no idea what 23 has up its sleeve, but I am here, and I am blessed, and I'm ready to do this, so... That was my 2022 wrap up. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around and I hope to be back on camera the next time I share a video. Hey, guess what? If you like what you see, you can totally subscribe to this channel. You can also give it a like and leave me a comment. I would totally love that. Okay, bye-bye.